In this video, I will show you seven strange things that I came across when spending 10 days in Buenos Aires. If you stick around to the end of the video, I will reveal the most strange thing. I'm making multiple videos from Buenos Aires, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss out. Okay, let's jump straight into it and start with the list. Number one on the list are the dog walkers of Buenos Aires. They are found all over the city and it's not rare to see one person walking over 10 dogs at the same time. This guy has 13 dogs on his leech. Quite impressive. I guess he has quite a lot of plastic bags as well. After the walk he goes house to house, one by one, to drop them off. These are professional dog walkers and it can be a full-time job. Next up as number two are the warning labels on all the grocery products. For example here the traditional Nesfit is not recommended for children due to that it contains coloring. This cheese has an excess of total fat, saturated fat, sodium and calories. I guess other countries have similar labels, but these are very big and clear. Not even with a Pepsi Max you can get away. It contains coloring and caffeine, which is not recommended for children. The thing is when you look at a bottle of wine or alcohol, there are no warning labels at all. So you get encouraged to drink wine instead of soft drinks. Maybe not that bad in the end. We stay in the supermarket and as number 3 on the list is the strange milk packaging. Fresh milk and other milk products comes in soft plastic bags. I guess there is a way to use them, but it doesn't seem very convenient. Oops, excess sugar. Number 4 on the list are these benches that are scattered around the city. They look really soft and comfortable, but you soon find out that they are made of concrete. Imagine going home after a night out and mistake one of these for a soft plush cushion. Ouch! I have to say though, they look very visually pleasing. This next one is also a bit strange. A lot of larger residential buildings in the city has a TV screen outside with a live security person displayed. We initially thought that this is just a video playback, but after waving and receiving a wave back, we concluded it's actually a live person that is ready to call for security if there are any issues. Quite a good idea actually. And why not open your apartment building with a QR code? As number 6 on the list, we encountered problems in cafes and restaurants getting change back when paying in cash. It seems like they often keep it and expect it as tips. I'm happy to pay tips for good service, but don't just take my money without asking. One day we waited 10 minutes to see if they would bring the change back, but they didn't. When asking, they said something like, oh, you wanted the change back? We're not talking about very small amounts and this happened multiple times. Let me know in the comments if you've had similar experiences. Finally, as number 7 on our list, we're heading to the city airport called Edo Park. Here's the thing, if you fly from Buenos Aires to the wine district of Mendoza, normal liquid restrictions apply to your hand luggage. But when you fly back from Mendoza to Buenos Aires, you can carry up to 5 liters of alcohol and wine in your hand luggage. A strange rule to me that not many tourists are aware of. But very convenient if you want to bring wine from Mendoza to any domestic destination. That concludes this video of 7 strange things in Buenos Aires. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me. There will be more videos from Buenos Aires and Mendoza, so keep an eye out. Have a great day wherever you are, bye now.